Hi everybody, this is Carlos. I'm uh, super excited to start this new year despite all the situations that we are living right now. Um, the coronavirus has hit us very, very hard in many aspects, but we are strong. We have demonstrated that we are strong people and we are ready to start this new year um, online, which is a very challenging way to start it. And I know that you are gonna uh, adjust to this very, very good. I hope you are having a good time despite of the situation once again and take good care of your loved ones and let's start the class. Before we start the class, I will explain how to find all the materials and links for pre-recorded sessions and live classes. Uh, you will find in Schooly the music video and the uh, learn music, okay? The music video is a pre-recorded video that you will find them in folders with a specific date. So that is your music video, which is a pre-recorded video that I made for you and you will find it by dates in folders, okay? About the learn music, it, it, that's, that's a live session, okay? That you will find just a link, not in a folder. You will find a link uh, maybe below the folders, which is just one link for the whole year, all right? Just for you to be aware of that. Okay, guys. Uh, here you have the syllabus, right? We're going to take a look right now. First, we'll have the course description. Percussion Ensemble meets two days a week throughout the school year. The purpose of this course is to familiarize you in as many aspects of percussion practice and performance. All information will be found on the platform Schoology. It is the student's responsibility to stay current with assignments. Remember to check Schoology every day, as I have told you in previous years, all right? Focuses will shift from basic technique, stroke development, music literacy, ensemble repertoire, band repertoire, and live performance. Rudiments to be addressed, five stroke roll, seven stroke roll, nine stroke roll, flam paradiddle, flam paradiddle diddle, Pata fla fla. Right now, maybe for you, I'm talking in Chinese, but you will know and you will love these rhythms because they are pretty awesome. Okay, I know you you are gonna love it. Rudiments will be included in daily basis activities such as regular practices, repertoire, and ensembles. I know we are starting this year in a very weird way. Let's say it like that. And uh, I hope that we come back to school soon so we can address these, um, these practices in the school with our classmates, right? We continue. Require materials and supplies. Earplugs for hearing protection. You can find foam earbuds in any Fibeca or Mega Kiwi. Snare drum practice pad for home practice it can be a soft computer mouse pad. You already have the ones that I gave it to you last year. One pair of snare drumsticks, they can be of any brand, 5A, 5B, or SD2 models. Uh, Big Firth is my favorite. I know it's yours too, I remember. Additional concert implements based on curriculum and ensemble needs. Okay, uh, the earplugs are very important. You have to wear the earplugs. It doesn't matter if you are at home, you have to wear earplugs because just you have to wear them, right? It's for your protection. Rules and procedures. Students are expected to arrive on time to class and immediately begin to set up instruments and begin the warm up routine during the first five minutes of the period. Uh, since we are not in school right now, uh, your your instrument is your practice pad or the instrument that you will be assigned in future ensembles. You will, you will, uh, you will be notified uh, very soon. Students are to have all supplies, materials, and music for each class. Failure to do so will result in the student losing one participation point. 
students need to follow the five essential rules in music department. Okay, so you have to be ready with your materials, you have to have all the supplies, all the materials in order to have an excellent grade because that's what I want and that's what you want for sure. Ah, and remember the five essential rules in music department. Okay, you remember the rules which are enter the class in an orderly fashion and in, in this case will be uh, no backgrounds in your Zoom uh, uh, accounts, uh, respect, always respect, uh, no food or drinks in class, all right? Have your practice pad or the instrument that you will be assigned in a specific ensemble and be a responsible team member. That's the last rule in the class that it means that you have to be like well behaved with your classmates and be a team because we are a team. Five essential rules in music department, as I have told you right now. First, enter the class in an orderly fashion. Two, bring your instrument. Three, respect. Four, no food or drinks in class. Five, be a responsible team member. I already talked to you about that. Attendance. Attendance to class is mandatory. Students can receive excused absence for issues that Colegio Menor San Borondón deems acceptable. Family vacations, outings, and work are unexcused absences. The teacher should be consulted about attendance in unique circumstances, such as concerts and out of school performances. Right? Grades. Homework, it's about 10 points each, and the minimum, it's gonna be three, three homeworks. Um, class participation, you have five of them, 10 points each, so it's very important. Group evaluation, 10 points each, it's gonna be two. Lessons, you're gonna have two lessons, 10 points each. Lessons are very important, remember. Summative, one minimum, 100 points each. And discipline, it's uh, 10 points. Discipline is very important. To me as a teacher, it's very important that you behave every single class. Concert dress. For formal events, we wear black bottoms, pants, long skirt, and a formal white blouse shirt. Ties are optional for boys. Once again, I hope uh, we come back to school soon so we can have our concerts. That's one of the, of the main things in the music department. Okay, so let's start with the warm-up. In order to start the warm-up, you will need a pair of drumsticks and a practice pad. This warm-up is going to be about the doubling technique. Okay, do you remember doubling? It is like this. You start with the right hand first. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, and so on. Okay, first. Now you're going to repeat the same activity, but starting with left hand. Remember, you can use either match grip, match grip like this, French grip, or traditional grip. If you choose whatever of those three, you are okay. As long as you play the technique correctly, you are fine. Now start with left hand at the count of four. One, two. Three and four.
Now we're going to play eight measures again, but the first four measures we're going to start with right hand. The other four measures we're going to start with the left one. Okay? It goes like this. One, two, three, and four. Good, now we're going to play four measures. Two measures starting with right hand, the other two measures starting with left hand. Okay, goes like this. Left hand. Now we're going to play eight measures, but the first one you start with the right hand, the second measure you start with the left one, the third measure you start with right hand, fourth with left, fifth with right, sixth with left, seven with the right, and the last measure you end up with your left hand. It goes like this, please pay attention. Left, right, left, Left, right, left, Now that you remember the value of the music figures, let's jump to the next activity. This activity consists on me playing a specific rhythmic pattern with my hands, and then you will have to repeat it. Exercise 1. Now, 
it's your time to do it one two three and one stop exercise two one two three four It's your time to play it. One, two, three, and one. One. Stop. Exercise three. One, two, four. Now it's your time to do it. One, two, three, and one. One. Stop. Exercise four. One, two, three, four. Now it's your time to play it. One, two, Three, four, one. One. Stop. Exercise five. One, two, three, four. Now it's your time to play it. One, two, three, and four. One. Stop. Exercise six. One, two, three, and now it's your time to do it. One, two, three, and one. One. Stop. Exercise seven. One, two, three, and now it's your time to do it. One, two, three, and one. One. Stop. Exercise eight. One, two, three. Now it's your time to play it. One, two, three, and one. One, three, and four. Okay, for doing this activity, you will have to get a notebook and draw a percussion line. Draw the time signature on 4-4 four, four, and divide it in 8 measures. Remember, each measure has to last 4 beats, like the example I am showing to you right now. In order to do this, you can use the figures that you practiced previously.
Your homework consists on recording yourself playing this specific rhythmic pattern. Remember to play on time. And when you're done, upload it to Schoology.